From KPRC, you're watching Local 2 News at 5. Whether you know it or not, your car is sending criminals a signal. It's true. There are certain things a potential thief is looking for. We're going to tell you what to do to make your car less vulnerable to crooks so you can protect your property. Well, more car thefts happen in Houston than anywhere else in Texas, but protecting yourself is easier than you think. So we're going to walk you through exactly what the thieves are looking for in parking lots all over Houston coming up next. Happening all over town, car break-ins and car thefts. Now, if you haven't been a victim yourself, you probably know somebody who has been. That's true. Local 2 reporter Ryan Korsgaard has been working on a special report about car thieves and how they get you. Ryan's live in southwest Houston right now in a parking lot just like the kind we park in all the time. Ryan? Yeah, just like you might go into a store, you might even go into a mall. What should you look for? What should you not leave in your car? That's a key. Bill Melander is here from Allstate Insurance to kind of talk us through that. Number one, when we drive into the parking lot, where should we park or not park? We know two things drivers should know, and this can be just as important as deciding whether or not or remembering to lock your car if you're going to keep it from getting stolen. Two things you could, should think about. One, Look for something like lights here. If you park underneath the lights, it's going to be bright, generally out in the open, harder for a thief to spend time around your car. Where don't you want to park? You don't want to park somewhere over here, like in the corner, because it's isolated. There's trees over there. It's darker. It's going to give the thief time to spend time on your vehicle, get in it, and get away with it. Speaking of that, let's take a look at this car right here. What, what do thieves look for? What makes it an attractive target? An easy thing you should think about when you pull into the parking lot is get everything out of your car and hide it. Leaving things like this vehicle has sunglasses in the front seat. It's valuable. It's obvious. It's going to make it attractive to the thief. In the back of this car, you've got a duffel bag wide out in the open, could be filled with valuables. If I'm a thief, I'm going to see that duffel bag, I'm going to see the sunglasses, and this is going to be a car I'm going to look at, and I'm going to try and steal it. Bill, thank you very much. So it's not only where you park, but what you leave in your car that you need to look for. Coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, we're going to tell you a lot more about that. We're live in southwest Houston. I'm Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Local 2. Okay, Ryan, thank you very much. From KPRC, you're watching Local 2 News at 6 wrongdoing is uncovered, the department will explore other avenues at that time. Well, before you head out on the highway, we have an alert about car thefts in Houston. Next, the easy steps you can take to avoid falling victim to thieves. Welcome back. Statistics show that car thefts are becoming a growing problem here in Houston. But there are a few simple steps you can take to protect your family from these thieves. KPRC Local 2 reporter Ryan Korsgaard joins us live in southwest Houston with the details. Ryan? You know, tonight at 10 o'clock, we're going to take this car. A thief is actually going to break into it and then start it up without keys. This happens every day in Houston. I want to show you some numbers to give you an idea of exactly how often it does happen. Now, in Houston, in the last year, about 30 31,000 cars stolen, followed by Dallas, San Antonio, El Paso, and McAllen. All of those, uh, you can tell, a lot of cars stolen there. Uh, we're joined now by Bill Melander from uh, Allstate Insurance. Bill, kind of give us an idea. You've got some visual things here that we can do to our own car, hopefully to keep people from breaking in. Absolutely, Ryan. For $20, this is a, a, a steering wheel lock. It's obvious, it's visual, the thief's going to see it, going to make your car less attractive. For about $70, this is called the wrap. It's another version of the steering wheel lock with more bells and whistles, literally. It'll give you sirens, some lights, some loud noises to scare a thief off if he still gets into your car. For about $600, this is an electronic alarm from theft replacement specialists here in Houston. This gives you literally all the bells and whistles. When you're deciding what to do to protect your car, if you're a driver, if you're a consumer, it's a question of what you can spend, what's within your budget. From $20 to $600, depending on how much you can afford, how much you feel you're willing to spend to take that extra step to make your car less attractive to a thief. On the other hand, we could just be smart in all of this. Absolutely. The easiest and the least expensive thing you can do is lock your cars, roll up your windows if you go into a parking lot. The majority of vehicles that are stolen are taken because drivers just make commonsensical errors that make their car super attractive to a thief, and when they come back out from the store, it's gone. Bill, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Again, tonight, live at 10 o'clock, we are going to show you how quickly a thief can get in your car and drive off, and also how you can protect yourself. We're live in southwest Houston. I'm Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Local 2. That will be a sight tonight at 10 o'clock. Yep. No doubt about that. From KPRC, you're watching Local 2 News at 10. We want to move on now, though, to a consumer alert that all drivers really need to hear. Every night in Houston, your car is in jeopardy. In fact, more vehicles are stolen here than anywhere else in Texas. All day we showed you how easy it is to become the target of a car thief, and now tonight, 
KPRC Local 2 reporter Ryan Kors is live in Southwest Houston. Yes, he's going to show us how unbelievably fast we could all lose our cars. Ryan? And pickups are the top choice in Houston now. Bill Melander is here from Allstate Insurance. He's going to talk us through this. We are going to get out of the way and let our bad guy, Paul, move in. Paul's the one who's going to actually break into this car. So on your mark, get set, go. And this all happens very quickly. What's happening right now, Bill? Ryan, this is extremely fast. He's already in the car in under six seconds. He's ripping open the steering column of the car right now. And with a simple, common household tool, he's manipulating the lock and is going to actually start the vehicle absolutely, completely without keys. It's a simple matter of pulling the underside of his car, of, of the steering column under which he accesses the wires. The car is now started in 26 seconds. He has the radio popped out. And and he's driving away in 31.6 seconds. Absolute. That's how quickly you can steal a car. And this can happen to your car. It can happen to my car. This could happen to any of our vehicles. This is seeing something like this is why all drivers need to take precautions. Bill, thank you. I want to go over and talk to Paul Grant now. Uh, Paul, this happened amazingly quickly. Is there anything that you and I can do to protect our cars? Well, I tell you, the first thing that I like to tell people about is uh, is putting on alarm systems and uh, protecting them with clubs and any kind of theft deterrent device is best method. And that's basically because you're looking to uh, keep people from stealing your car to move on to the next car. So just trying to detour them is the best best route. We want to take a look as, as we continue to talk uh, talk to you at just how quickly this happened. We're going to take a look on videotape now. It happens very quickly. If I do use a club or something like that, is that really going to slow you down? Well, it's going to slow you down. It's going to detour you. It's going to basically uh, make you think twice whether or not you want to mess with this car whenever you have plenty more to mess with. So why go ahead and steal the car that's going to take you that extra 30 seconds to two minutes? Because that, be, that could be the difference between you actually getting your car stolen and not. How realistic is this demonstration? You obviously know what we were doing tonight, but this happens every day in Houston. Absolutely. It's one of the top cars that get stolen. Um, it's super simple to steal these cars, and unfortunately, the, the methods are out there, and the kids know how to do it, and other thieves are out there that know how to do this. So, That's important to point out. We are not telling the bad guy anything he or she doesn't already know. Absolutely. I mean, the methods are out there. The, you know, People are stealing these cars. I see them every single day in my location. So, I mean, just something that uh, can definitely happen in the blink of an eye. So. More than 31,000 cars stolen in Houston. What is the thing that you tell the consumer at home? What should the consumer do to make sure that their car isn't the next? Well, you just got to be smart about it. Whenever you park, look for a lighted parking space. Look for some place that's not going to draw a lot of attention to yourself. You're just trying to find some place out there that uh, that's going to deter them from stealing your vehicle. If you can you know, have the money or have the means to go ahead and add an extra security system that's going to make your car that less uh, attractive to the thief, then that's what your best methods are to from keeping people from stealing your vehicle. So. Paul Grant, we appreciate it. Thank you very much for your help tonight, and thank you for the folks at Allstate. Again, just an idea of how quickly this can happen to your car and what you need to do to protect yourself. We're live in Southwest Houston. I'm Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Local 2. Ryan, it's obvious that Paul is quite the expert on car thefts. I'm, I'm wondering, how did that come to be? Well, he, he quickly points out he has not stolen a single car. He simply has done this through years of education. He does training courses. He did this in the Dallas area and now in our area doing repairs and recoveries uh, for insurance companies. All right, well, we certainly appreciate his information tonight. Ken's 5, Eyewitness News at 10. Since the start of this newscast, at least one car has been stolen in Texas. And by the time it's over, six others will have been ripped off. And we're going to do it, too, but for a good reason. Tuesday night, we showed you the places you don't want to leave your car in San Antonio. Tonight, the I-Team's Joe Conger live on the northwest side to show you why. Chris, San Antonio loves its pickups, and unfortunately, so do the thieves. We had some 6,600 auto thefts last year. Most of them pickup trucks, your GMC, your Chevys, even your Ford F-250s like this one here. Let's check out the map that we had from San Antonio Police, kind of showing some of the areas of town where they've had the most auto thefts. And you can see those highlighted areas, those yellow areas there along the I-10 corridor. Those are areas where they've had high intensity or a lot of car thefts in those kinds of areas. And joining me now is Bill Melander with Allstate to talk a little bit about this Ford F-250 in particular. You know, here in San Antonio, 80% of the cars are taken for joy rides, but that wasn't the case for this 250. No, you know, around San Antonio, thieves like pickup trucks like this one because unfortunately they can use them for human smuggling. And this is a great example of that. These scratches you see along the hood are from a barbed wire fence running across the top of the truck. This hole up here in the windshield is from a fence post 
plowing through the windshield as this truck was kind of barreling across the hills. actually picked some wood and debris out of there. We had to pull, when we recovered the vehicle, we had to pull debris out of the windshield. And, and quickly, tell us about in here. They took all the seats out because they love to pack the folks in here. Yeah, this is typical of a recovery you'll see from a pickup truck around San Antonio. You pull out the back seats, get more people in, you can lay them three across and literally, as amazing it is, is stack them on top of each other. Some 30 people when it's all said and done can be fit. A truck like this could get that many people. Thanks, Bill. And it's very easy to steal a truck like this. And coming up in a few minutes, we're going to show you just how easy it is, plus give you some tips on how you can prevent theft. It takes most people about a minute to stop their car, lock it, and get out. But did you know your car could be gone not in 60 seconds, but in half that time? Tonight, the I-Team's Joe Conger live to show you just how quick that getaway really is. Joe? That's right, Chris. I'm here with Paul Grant. He's going to kind of be our would-be thief right now because he works on these types of cars and trucks after they've been stolen. And we were talking earlier, I guess Ford realized there was a problem with all those popular F-150s being <laughs> stolen. They've actually beefed up security and caused thieves to go to the bigger models. Absolutely. They went to something called a transponder system where they put a little chip that's embedded inside of the key, and that prevents thieves from being able to bypass the system and start the vehicle up. So. And right now, we were talking about the fact that mostly they come through here and kind of pry it through. Yeah, they normally just pry the door cylinder and they pry it with a flathead screwdriver and pops it up and allows them to access inside the car. If that doesn't work, they go to the old-fashioned way by breaking the glass, which is what we're going to do tonight. That's okay. <laughs> we heard the movie's gone in 60 seconds, but it's a lot quicker than that. It can be. Sometimes you can get lucky and get them gone in less than 60 seconds. All right, so, so we've got a clock in the corner, and when you're ready, just go ahead and go. Okay. had some 430 of these Ford pickups stolen last year here in San Antonio. And as Paul is showing you, it is that easy. Okay, he was out of there in less than 25 seconds. Amazing. There are things you can do to protect yourself from a theft like that. You saw how quick and easy it was for him. First of all, you can take your keys with you. You wouldn't believe this, but one out of five keys are actually left in the ignition, and that makes it quite easy. The other thing is to lock your car. 50% of cars out there are unlocked. If any given day you go through a parking lot, you'd see that. You don't want to hide a second key. Don't do that because they'll look for the second key. Also, park in some well-lit areas like this one, although it didn't prevent our theft, did it? And park in attended lots. They don't like folks around. We're live on the Northwest Side. Joe Conger, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.